Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Lopez and today we're gonna learn how to make paper mache maracas. Andale, andale! For today's exercise you will need a newspaper, some paper towels if you have some, and one paper. You don't need to use all of them but it makes things easier. You would also need uh, balloons, uh, wood sticks, uh, a mixture of PVA glue and water, which is roughly 50% PVA glue and 50% water. Uh, you need a brush to put the glue on, uh, some masking tape, and some rice. Now, when you get to decorate, you will also need a pencil, string, some card, scissors, different types of paint, a brush, um, PVA glue again, and different things to decorate, uh, different uh, seeds or pasta. The first thing that you should do is cut your uh, paper towels and newspaper in small pieces of paper. Uh, we do this at the beginning because if you try to do it while you're doing your paper mache, your fingers are going to get all sticky and it's going to make everything more difficult. Uh, first, we start by covering our balloon with paper towels. Uh, we start with paper towels because it's easier to uh, go around the surfaces. You can, use your, you can use your brush or you can go uh, straight with your hands, uh, whatever is easier for you. Now, one thing that you should remember is to make sure that you do not cover the balloon knot because we will use this later on to remove the balloon. If you're working with a group of people and you won't be able to finish everything in one day, put your name in a piece of paper using a sharpie and stick it straight into your uh, paper mache that will you know which one is yours. Once you finish your first layer using paper towels, you're, you're gonna do the next one using newspaper. We're gonna alternate using different materials to know exactly how many layers you've made. You should try to do at least four layers and one more with white paper. We will use white paper at the end because it's easier to paint over white paper as it doesn't show any texture or any letters from the newspaper. As you're working with your different layers, try to make everything as smooth as possible because once it dries, it's gonna stay the way it is. So if it's bumpy, it's gonna stay bumpy. And remember to uh, not cover the balloon knot because we will use this later to remove the balloon and put the rice in. Once you've done all your layers, you're gonna need to let this dry. The easiest way to do this is to tie a string around the balloon knot and just hang it somewhere so it dries evenly. To build the handle, we're gonna use one of the wood sticks and we're gonna cover, uh, cover it using a newspaper. You can make rolls of newspaper, use some masking tape to keep them uh, in place, and then uh, my suggestion is try to make uh, different uh, levels, different thickness with newspaper. That way you can create different designs rather than something very plain. It is important that you cover your handle with white paper as well to make it easier to paint later on. To fill the body with rice and uh, make our maracas make some sound, we're gonna remove the balloon, just cutting a, a tiny hole next to the balloon knot, and then we are gonna use a funnel to put the rice in. If you do not have a funnel, you can create your own funnel using some paper and a piece of masking tape, uh, and then it works exactly the same way. You don't need a lot of rice, it's just a tiny bit and that will be enough to make your maracas sound.
once you fill your maraca, uh, put a tiny bit of uh, masking tape to cover the hole and then you're gonna attach the balloon and the handle using some masking tape to keep it in place first and some white paper with glue without diluting to keep everything uh, strong and together. Now, when you start uh, painting your design, the first thing that you need to do is sketch where you're gonna add things. This will make it easier to know uh, where to place different objects and where to put the different colors of paint. If you can, try to find uh, something to keep your maraca in place. It could be a cup, it could be a roll of cello tape. Uh, that will make it easier to decorate and paint. Uh, use PVA glue uh, without diluting and start adding the different elements to your design. You can use uh, different types of pasta, different seeds. You can uh, cut shapes using card if you want different shapes and just stick them straight into your maraca using PVA glue. Uh, you might notice that some seeds or some pasta are a bit slippery. If they're coming off, if there's no staying in place, uh, use some PVA glue and then uh, try to use some masking tape to cover it and keep it in place until they dry. You need to be careful though when you remove the masking tape uh, to make sure that they don't come off, otherwise you will have to start everything again. Once you finish uh, adding all your the 3D elements, you're gonna start painting your maraca. Uh, sometimes it's easier if you're doing something like a gradient to cover the whole thing, including the elements. Uh, other times it might be easier if, if you can go around them, just go around them, whatever works for you. You're gonna start by working uh, painting all the base and then once you've done that you're going to start painting each element uh, with probably a smaller brush if you have one. Once you painted your, uh, the main structure of your maraca, it's a good idea to add some texture so it doesn't look flat. You can add some lines, some dots, uh, try to look online for different designs and just uh, work your way around different parts of your design. Finally, if you want to add some string, I will leave this to the end, that way you can use a color string. You just need to put some PVA wherever you want to, uh, to glue it down and then just work your way around it to create different shapes, different um, designs. And that's it. I hope that this was uh, useful. Uh, if it was, please don't forget to click the like button and click the subscribe. This just helps me to add some features in the YouTube channel and make uh, videos more easy. That's all for now. I'm Mr. Lopez. Thanks for watching. Bye.